Hi, this is Lab 2 for Electric Technology. In this lab, we will be taking a look at series and parallel circuits. Uh, for this lab, we will be again using the breadboard, uh, which will set up the circuits, uh, the uh, power supply, which will supply our voltage, and the digital multimeter, which we will use to take our readings. Um, the circuits here are again resistor circuits, so we will be just using some simple resistors to make our circuits. Uh, section A of this lab is to investigate Kirchhoff's voltage law, uh, which says that some of the voltage drops around the circuit is equal to the supply voltage in the circuit. Um, for this, we'll be setting up a simple series circuit um, using two resistors. Uh, the resistors are a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor for here and a 1 kilo ohm resistor for this part of the circuit. So we can set this up on our breadboard. So again, these lines here are vertically connected. So we can connect our 2.2K here, our 1K alongside it. And now we can plug in our power source. So firstly, we can just check the the voltage supply and just check it's on 5 volts here so that when we turn it on it's not going to blow any resistors or anything in the circuit. Plug the positive end of our lead here into the red and plug it in to the left side of the 2K2 resistor as shown in the circuit. Then we take our negative lead into the negative side of the power supply and plug it in to the right hand side of the 1K resistor, again that's shown in the circuit. Now since these rails are connected vertically, the power supply is connected with this leg of the resistor. These two resistors are connected together here, and the negative is connected here to this side of the 1K resistor. Okay, so question 3 asks you to use the voltmeter function and the multimeter to measure the voltage dropped across uh, first the 1K resistor and second then the 2.2K resistor. So to do this, it's the same as last week's lab. We hook up our probes to the uh, digital multimeter. So we hook up the black probe to the common here. And we hook up the red probe to the voltage and resistance uh, port here. We turn on the digital multimeter. And select VDC, which measures the direct current voltage. Now firstly for part A we want to measure across the 1K resistor which is the resistor on the right hand side. So to measure the voltage drop across the resistor we quite simply hook on the crocodile clips on either side of the resistor so we can see the voltage drop there. So with those hooked on we can see with our power turned on we're getting a voltage drop of 1.565 volts which is very close to the calculated value. Now, for part B, we're asked to check the voltage drop across the 2.2K resistor. So for this, we just take our probes from the 1K and place them on either side of the 2.2K resistor. And here we can see a voltage drop of 3.44 volts. So, um, this is uh, shown in uh, voltage law um, as if you add the voltage from the 1K resistor to the value of the voltage on the 2.2K resistor, it's equal to 5 volts, which is indeed the supply voltage. Okay, so part 5 of uh, section A asks that you uh, measure the current in the circuit at point 1. So again, as with last week's lab, we have to break the circuit and put the DMM in series with that section of the circuit so we can actually see the current. So firstly, we change the voltage probe down here to milliamps so we can read current. Point 1 is here between the 2.2K resistor and the 1K resistor. So we'll break the circuit at that point and we'll put our DMM in between. So we can hook the positive probe up to the right hand leg of the 2.2K resistor and hook a negative probe up to the left hand side of the 1K resistor. So now put our multimeter onto IDC to measure the direct current and we can get see we've got a reading of 1.59 milliamps 
which is very close to the calculated value, uh, which we should be seeing in the circuit. So now we're on to section B, in which we want to show uh, Kirchhoff's current law by using a parallel circuit. Um, this uh, Kirchhoff's law shows that um, the current entering a parallel network is equal to the sum of the currents uh, of each of the parallel branches in that network. So for this, first of all, we'll be using two 1K resistors in parallel with each other, as shown here in the circuit. So the basic idea of Kirchhoff's law is that the total current in this circuit here, or in this network, is the same as the current running through this uh, resistor added to the current running through this resistor. So now we can set up the circuit in the breadboard. So to do this, we put in our first 1K resistor. And we put in the second 1K resistor in the same tracks as the previous one. So now these are in what is called parallel. Now we take our voltage supply and we plug the positive in to the left hand side of the circuit and our ground into the right hand side into the same lines as was used for the resistors themselves. Okay, now for part two of section B, we want to measure the voltage drops across the 1K resistors at branch one and branch two. So to do this, we change our uh, positive probe to the voltage and resistance port here in the DMM, change the DMM to voltage DC. Our power supply is on at five volts. And we measure across the first branch here, the top resistor. Here we can see that our voltage drop across branch one is five volts. So now we measure across branch two. And we see that this is also five volts, um, which is the property of uh, parallel circuits, that the voltage drop is equal across both resistors. Okay, so for part three, we want to use the ammeter function and the multimeter to measure the current in branch one. Uh, so that's branch one here on the circuit. So. As with last week's lab, to measure current, uh, we have to break the circuit here at point one. So first of all, with the digital multimeter, we take our positive probe and move it down to milliamps. We select IDC to measure direct current. And now we break the circuit here at point one. We put our positive voltage, our positive uh, DMM probe on the positive supply. and then we connect the negative onto the leg of the resistor that we just took up. And this now will check the current that was actually running through that resistor, which we can see to be just over five milliamps. So for the second part of that question, we want to measure the current in branch two. So we put back in the leg of the first resistor, take out the leg of the second resistor, and hook on our probe. So now we can see the current flowing through that resistor, which is also five milliamps. So the current is the same in both, as they're both the same value, which is one K. Okay, for part four, uh, we have to replace the one K resistor in branch two with the two K two resistor, which I have here. So now we can do this in the circuit. Here we have branch two here, so we take out the 1K resistor and we put in this 2.2K resistor here. If it'll go in. So we put it into the same tracks that the 1K resistor had been in. So now we've got a 1K resistor in parallel with a 2K2.